when you wire houses for a living, you got all your runs you possibly do at once. And you pull everything in one solid line. As you see, I got all that there. Normally I pull from the other side, but this time, hot rolled, rolling with it. So straight back to the panel. You take a job from four hours to two, see? Straight line, straight line, all the way back, and all my slack right there. You pull here, and then, see that wire losing the slack in it? Go grab that one. Check all my other slack. See the boxes over there? And I just guess how many feet I got. This one goes up the other way. This is my porch wire. I'll pull that one out here. More slack. And then go around the other side. Oh, grab my $600 drill with a battery. That thing's awesome. Ladder. Let's roll around. Normally I want to shoot videos with this because I'm just trying to get this done, but you know what? When you shoot a lot of videos, you might as well shoot a lot of videos. And what I don't like is I have a whole path of electric right here. And so I'm going to staple it above. Um, it's not really a great way when they have land beams everywhere, but um, it is what it is. So we're going to make it work. Let's go, let's go, here we go. Singular hole, down the panel, here's my wires. It'll go above the electrical, down. Give myself enough slack. Oh, I need slack. I got slack. Over there. Let's see how much I got. What actually worked, but. Oh, oh, oh. So, this is where you get slack from. That's where it's pinched from. Pull that. Pull what you need. There we go. All right. And see how the ways the nails all pulled. Now we gotta get this off the electrical because yeah, yeah. And we got slack, everything's pulled. So now my magic staple gun. As you see, staple. Oh, there it is. Where's my other staple? Staple. You should have one of these if you're wiring houses. And that's anything you can do to prevent electromagnetic interference you should do. And I gotta say that I love my DeWalt tools. See, made for electricians, but work for low voltage. As you can see, staying away from the electrical lines to prevent magnetic interference. And then boom, got 
almost the whole house run. Well, I do, I just gotta staple it all back. All right, you pull this line. Boom, boom. Come on. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. This is how you start wrapping things up fast. Come on. There we go. Yeah. All right. Time for the Betsy. Stapler all the way back. Where we got a staple at? Here's fine. There's fine. Probably give her some slack there. I don't like that look. So what is this? Hmm. 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 Whew. So that is one inch conduit. So just in case you want to hook up something to that TV after the fact, like, you know, I don't know, maybe hook up an Xbox or something. Yeah, the option to, you can fish whatever you want, fish in HDMI, but you know, you can do anything. It's future proof and it's simple. You know, HDMIs go out of date after a certain amount of time. They don't work as well. You need to get an updated format for better picture. Don't got to worry about it. And what I recommend running an entire house, man, ditch the coax cable. It's dead. Run data everywhere. Um, except you have to run coax cable usually to your modem, depending on your provider. If you get fiber, well, then you're going to be running conduit just like this. And I'd put that panel in the garage or something because... What you find out is that a lot of cable company guys don't get a lot of training. There's good ones in there, but you ask them to fish any conduit that's long, we ain't gonna be able to do it. So one inch conduit from the panel out, and I'll show you that right now. And if you look around, got no wires hanging anymore. I'm about done. I think I've been here like two hours. Now, when I first started, oh my God, it took me forever to get all this stuff done. But, you know, almost 20 years in, I can just kind of, I, I guess, call it hustle, and I knock it right on out. In fact, I'd already be out of here if I wasn't shooting part of the video. The last step is me grabbing this. And as you can see, the pull string falls right out of it sometimes. Sometimes I get it well, sometimes I don't, but it's easily fishable. So sometimes you just can't fight what happens So that is gonna go for this neighborhood has fiber. So that's just gonna be from point A to point B. And that's how we're gonna run it so the cable guy can fish it super easily. Boom, to the outside, not hard to fish. Now this line called for, uh, this house called for six lines. So a installer cheat, um, six lines plus security. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You notice I ran two different or two odd color lines. Typically, if I'm running a phone, I use yellow. But the day a uh, truck broke down, so I'm on my backup truck and I grab what I grab. But one of these is a security line and one of these is a living room line. Not gonna be hard to figure it out when I come and terminate all these things in the end of it. And then from here, we're just gonna roll all this nonsense up. Oh, I roll it up, put it in the panel, zip tie it up called home finished and i just gotta throw a tack in this wire on the side put this panel cover on oh that way it doesn't get sprayed with everything under the sun you know it's lucky it stays there today here we go sometimes i throw zip ties in that we'll see how that works usually i get if it's stuck in there they don't paint my wires so tacks in those and i'm done all right, got them tacked. Now, these are electrician staples, but if you look, all my wires got plenty of slack. Don't waste your money buying all these stupid insulated staples if you know what you're doing. I did all that stuff, <clears throat> except for the DeWalt gun. The DeWalt staple gun, that one's, that was definitely worth it. I like that. Well, so I got this done. You walk over here. That line's done. Line above there. Porch line's done. Ooh, got my security line done. And I also got 
office line done. I got the hole upstairs done. I'd walk you through, but I think you get the gist. So that's how you do a pre-wire and knock them out pretty fast. But if you haven't done it, train lots of people, takes them forever. What I do in two hours, I'll be like, I'll send somebody out they've been trained and then five hours later they're done. I'm like, what did you do? What did you do? <laughs> what were you doing? Well, that's just how it goes. So, hope you liked it.